Good morning, Abotai. Um, since today's Tu Bishvat, we'll speak about another very interesting halakha that comes up uh, very often with regards to Birkat HaNetilat Yadayim. What happens if a person uses the facilities right before he wants to start a bread meal? So obviously, when he comes out of the restroom, he has to do Netilat Yadayim. The question is now, which Netilat Yadayim should he do? For the restroom, for bread, which one? Both, what should he do? So there's actually a very interesting Machloket Rishonim in Siman Kuf Samachay. Rabbeinu Yaakov Bar Yaka writes that since Chazal instituted two separate netilot, one netila is for after using the restroom, another netila is for uh, before eating bread, one cannot exempt the other, and therefore a person would have to make two separate netilot. Other Rishonim disagree. Some Rishonim say no, one netila can work for both. Le'alacha, Manana Shulchan Aruch says that a person must make two separate netilot yadayims. Okay, that's great. The question then becomes, I'm making two different netilot, but now what am I going to do? First one, after the first one, I make a shariatza. After the second one, I say al netilat yadayim. But hey, wait a second. Why am I saying al netilat yadayim after the second netila if I already did the first netila, which already made my hands pure enough to eat a seuda? So isn't that a brachal batala? You can tell me to make two separate netilot, but how can you tell me to make two separate brachot, make a brachav al netilat yadayim, after I already made the first the first netilat yadayim for the for the restroom, so because of that we find different answers, different solutions among the poskim. The Magen Abraham, quoted by the Or Litzion, says that the first netila that a person makes after he comes out of the bathroom should be one that is invalid for bread, which means that he should not use a natla, he shouldn't use a cup, which means only run his hands three times under the under the faucet, then dry his hands, make. Asher uh, Yatsar, and then afterwards use a cup and do Netilat Yadayim la Seuda and make Birkat al Netilat Yadayim. Since the first one, even though he washed his hands, and that's good in order to make Birkat Asher Yatsar, but st- since it's still Netilat Psula for bread, so that's the best way to go about it. The Oletzion writes like that la There's an in- interesting Chidush that the Ben Yishchai throws in over here. He says it's better when you do that before you do the second Netilat with a cup for the bread meal, you should touch either Mekomot Mechusim Baguf either a covered part of the body, your chest area, or your shoes, something that requires another netila. Now again, you'd have to do the second netila anyway for bread, because the first one was pasul, since you didn't use a cup, but anyway, it just makes it better. Therefore, the best, although there are many, many different um, solutions among the poskim, this by far is the best one, brought down also by halakha berba, l'alakha on ma'aseh, that if this happens, if a person uses the restroom right before he wants to sit down to a bread meal, the halakha is that he should do the first netila only by washing his hands from the faucet, dry his hands, say a shariyatza. Either, again, it's not mechuyah, but preferably touch somewhere covered on the body. Do another netila three times on each hand with a cup, as you would for any bread meal. <coughs> make al netilat yadayim, and then dry your hands, and sit down, and make a motzi. That is the best way to be yotzeh, kol ashitot, yom tov, and tu bishvat sameach.